What's going on guys? Hope you're all having an amazing day. I am feeling a little bit better than yesterday. Like I said, I don't know what was going on. I just got super dizzy and I just fell asleep and woke up today feeling a little bit better. Um, not 100%, but enough to give you guys a video. So, that being said, I'm going to do a trip to a thrift. But this one's going to be a little bit different. I know I've been doing about eight in a row now, going to Goodwill, going to Salvation Army. But today I'm going to do a home edition. Meaning, I met this kid named Alan about a month or two ago at a Salvation Army. I guess he recognized me going every single week, every single week. And he's like, hey, I got a bunch of vintage clothes from my dad and my grandfather and just from him thrifting. So he's like, I got a bunch of stuff that could be awesome for your website. So I was thinking, all right, awesome. Yeah, I'll come by, check it out. So I'm about to head to his house, see what items he has. I also brought, he's also looking to trade some things. So I am bringing him a 1997 World Series. Another Florida Marlins, a UM puffer jacket, and a starter Miami Dolphins. So yeah, let's go see what he has and hopefully he has some goodies for the website for you guys. Alright guys, we just pulled up. Let's go see what he got for us. All right guys, so we just got to location, and as you can see, there is quite a nice amount of stuff. I think we're gonna start with the hats first, but this is like literally like all the good stuff that's all around the thrift stores already here, so I don't have to go through the digging and everything, it's just fire piece, fire piece, fire piece, fire piece. So let's see what we got. Miami Heat. Super Bowl, brand new with the tags. Indianapolis 400, 1994. Marlboro, everyone likes that. That was the first thing that sold on the website, was the Marlboro Parka. <clears throat> yeah, pretty much all these are fire. I like the rim on that, that's ridiculous. This one's sick. That is dope, I have never seen that. There's a few in there, you know, yeah. gifts and whatnot. No, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have them, this is sick too. I'm just going to show up to this, I'm going to say if you guys are interested in any of these, comment below. And then we'll pick which ones we want to put on the site. Brand new Deadstock guys. I know a lot of you said you were Miami fans, look at that, brand new. I was telling them the other day that there's so much Marlins stuff at thrifts around here. Look, that's the... Miss. You don't see those a lot. That's not like a missing patch, I think those are the ones that just never got hurt to them. Or never got, um, you know. So it was like almost like, it was like an air, I guess, and they just never released? Basically. Huh, that is cool. Probably found a batch without that. Yeah. And just sold them. That's Watch crazy. Them. And then that's the one with the patch? Yeah. Or do you think someone can just take it off? Maybe, I mean, look at the back. I don't wanna, I don't wanna feel it back. We'll just keep it that, that, that one's a misprint. <laughs> no. Brand that's new attacks. <laughs> Jeez. I found um, a 19, 89 Hulk Hogan uh, WrestleMania t-shirt in like brand new condition. That's newer style. Yeah. Pinstripes. I love pinstripes. This one's pretty tough. Yeah, that is sick. Oh, it's legit too. I thought it would be like a knockoff, but that is sick. Another Hurricanes. Compile to go through. 1974 Super Bowl champs. It's probably the last time that they won too. <laughs> Hurricanes. 1996 Gators. Daytona International Speedway. Still has the <laughs> thrift tag on it. 83-92 Miami. All you Miami fans, I know you guys are going to be wanting all these. 
another Marlins 97. Crookson Castle, like a digiprint camo. Oh, is it? Oh, yeah. With a 3M rim. Miami Heat, American patch on the back. This is sick. 1993, I have this hat brand new actually. I love this. Super Bowl, brand new with tags. 1994. Phoenix Suns, old style. And a Stussy hat, New York. Trees, patches for days. Damn, this is fire. I know this is gonna get sold quick. Another Adventure Team Marlboro hat. So sick. 1993. Guys, okay, so like I said, he did pretty much the thrifting for us. This is pretty much a trip to the thrift hall. So we're just gonna jump right into it. We're gonna start with these pile of t shirts. So to start with, we got a sick vintage Miami Dolphins. Dolphins 13, Dan Marino, tie-dye, Marlins with the baseball, 2003, 1997 World Series, Marlins, NBA on NBC, huge logo on the back. Tommy Hill figured, what is this, like swim trunks, I guess, with the flag around the waist. Tommy USA, V-neck jersey, New York Yankees, 1998 World Series, Tommy Athletics jersey. Tank top, brand new with tags, 1997. Collab with Guy Harvey, the fishing company. Fired up, fifth anniversary, Miami Heat from 1992. 1995, Miami, Florida Super Bowl. 1997, Marlins. 2003, brand new with tags, 1998. Starter, 1997. This piece is super fire. Marlins with logos all out the side. And then on the back, you have a huge Marlins. This is definitely a grail piece. 1993, Florida Marlins. 1997, Marlins again. Since we live in Florida, obviously we're gonna have a lot of Marlins at the thrift store. And they're not the best, so I'm sure people give up on their teams. Starter 1997. The final piece we got, vintage Tommy Tax, Tommy Hill figure, and like this Nautica print. And then if you notice, we have the sailing flags all down the sleeves. Super nice piece. All right guys, so now we're gonna jump into the jackets and to start off, we have something so fire. I feel like I've seen this for sale before for like almost $300. Hilfiger Sailing Team, Vintage Tommy. You have the blue and white on the inside, red on the out. You have like these reflectors, like the almost like the crossing guard style patches on each side, stripes down the sleeves. And then on the back, super fire. You have 3M TH45, and then hill figure in the middle. This piece is insane. Hill figure sailing, so crazy. We got this billionaire boys club hoodie. Simple colorway gray, but it has like this smoky effect on the hood as well as on the front pocket. Vintage Tommy Hill figure. It's like almost like a dress shirt, but like for like winter it seems like. Hill figure on the front. Next we got a baseball tee from Tommy Jeans. And it has like a ribbed effect, and then you can see it's almost like it's like a baseball jersey. Vintage Tommy tags right there. Tommy flag on the back, Tommy flag on the side. Vintage Reebok in like the, I would say Eagles colorway with the forest green, white, and black. Reebok patch on the back. We got a vintage Reebok with the black with the white. Seems like it's like a raincoat style, long hood. You Miami Hurricane fans, here you go. Vintage Hurricanes. Miami on the front, orange going down the sleeve. Leather Miami Dolphins. Not sure if this is real leather or not, but it is NFL tag. Huge dolphin print, football. This piece is so fire. Look at that embroidery. That thing is ridiculous. This I'm probably gonna keep for myself, but we do have a vintage New York Yankees, 1996. This is some crazy piece. This is 1991, before the Marlins even became an actual team, I guess you could say, in like the Dolphins colorway, orange. And you can see this is the Marlins color. At first I figured, oh, maybe it just faded over old age. But no, it's definitely, as you can see, a whole different color. Daytona 500. Huge patch on the side, NASCAR on the back. Leather FSU, this is just like the Miami Dolphins with the Seminoles going down the side. 
again, another huge giant patch, Seminoles, or sorry, Florida State. The FSU patch right there. Dodge Motorsport, got the checkered front on the side, red, silver, and black. Dodge logo. Unfortunately, there is some cracking because of old age, but I feel like that just gives a character. Next, I personally like this piece. This is a vintage Tommy, but it's hard to explain what kind of material this is. It's almost like a t-shirt or like a dress shirt. Very, very light. You got the embroidered Tommy right there, Tommy Hilfiger, vintage tags. And then on the back, you have Tommy Hilfiger. This is a very nice piece. Brand new with tags. We got this NBC jacket. Seems like it's like an elongated weather jacket. Bringing out the neon colors, because we're like in the 80s. With the neon teal, purple, orange, and silver. You girls watching, I know you DM'd me and you said get some fluorescent jackets, so here we go. Got this Nautica Competition hoodie. Nautica Competition on the back. Simple white front. Vintage Mickey Ink, Walt Disney. Vintage Izod. That's how you pronounce it, right? Izod. Nautica in the blue with the highlighter collar. Nautica Summer Sports on the sleeve. Fluorescent green with the pocket pouch. That way people can see uh, all the drugs you're hiding. Just kidding, drugs are bad kids. So we got this Stussy colorway. At first I thought this was a Polar Ralph Lauren by the blue, the white, and the red. But it is a really nice piece. Almost looks brand new, never worn probably. And then last, this piece is so fire. 1996 USA champion. USA on the back. This piece is ridiculous. I've seen this sold a few times now and it's definitely had a high price. So, super fire piece. Alright guys, so he just told me that he has a bunch of shoes fire, all for sale too. So, you know, we're gonna do a round two. I'm gonna come back here. We ran out of time. So I'm gonna come back here, do all the shoes. But I think you guys got enough uh, heat for this video. So I think that's good. All right, guys, just leaving now. I got a huge bag of stuff. I felt like I was thrifting, but it, it took half of the time. I can't believe it's his collection. It is insane. And also when we were walking out, he was showing me his shoes. His shoes are so fire. A lot of SBs, OG Jordan. So stay tuned for episode two for that for sure. I hope you guys just enjoyed all that heat. Like I said, he's been doing that for about two, three years. He has a decent amount of collection. And all of that is for sale. Now what I need you guys to do is, whatever piece you like, I want you to pause the video, take a screenshot, and email me at ditr954 at gmail.com, the picture of the thing, and I'll give you the price, I'll give you the size, the condition, whatever it may be. Just because he has so many things, I can't upload all that on my website. So whatever you guys like, Pause the video, screenshot it, email me it. Now, keep in mind, most of this stuff is going to be large, extra large, and double XL. I saw a couple people asking for extra large. Well, here you go. This is this is all your size. Unfortunately, he doesn't have many smaller mediums. I think there might be maybe one, two, three items that are gonna be a medium, but the rest is large XL and double XL. So if any of you guys are in those sizes and you like the piece, screenshot it, send me it, as well as the hats. The hats are all for sale, every single one that you saw. Screenshot it, send me an email, I'll give you the price and we'll, we'll work something out for you. So, I hope you guys enjoyed that Trip to the Thrift House Edition. If you did, make sure you give this video a nice thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We just hit 300 subscribers, guys. Thank you so much. Last week we're at 100, no. Yeah, last week we are at 100, and now we're at 300. I'm sorry, I, I, I for some reason I thought we were at a higher. But we were at 100, now we're at 300 in the matter of a week. So, we're moving fast, and hopefully next week we'll be at 500 subscribers. So, come back tomorrow for another EMC vlog, and don't forget, let's get it! I'm ballin', ballin', I came from nothing to something like it's nothing, yeah, you know I done it, that is no discussion.